yo guys so today i'm gonna teach you guys how i got my game so smooth to um increase my fps um so some things being like the gray sky or just overall different changes in my in my uh, settings to make my game look much smoother and need a macro much faster um right now my macro is being a little choppy because like i'm recording and i don't have the best pc um so yeah so step number one is a macro obviously um you don't need a macro but i know a lot of people are dehudians and they like using macros so if you're here for the macro go to my other two recent videos i posted one for logitech and i posted one for tg um if you want to use the logitech one make sure you have a logitech mouse um if you don't then it won't work um if you don't have a logitech mouse then you can use tg tg macro works just as fine um i'm using tg as well right now and i think it works just it's fine i mean like mouse macros to me it lags a little bit but you know i prefer tg macro um personal opinion but uh yeah so if you need a macro go to my other two recent videos uh, i'm not gonna link them because they're on my channel uh one has like sixty-six thousand views and the other one has uh i think like a few thousand not much but yeah so that's that's that out of the way and then step number two is make sure you guys download this thing called blockstrap blockstrap is a way for you to increase your fps and make your game smoother um so i'm gonna leave the link in the description uh it's a github link this is where a lot of coders put their like uh their projects and stuff and uh, one of them being blockstrap um to download it all you do is press this and like i said all it does is it just increases your fps and it gives you different things that roblox doesn't give you so different options you can change or different options to turn on or whatever you want uh it just makes your roblox cooler i mean for anything um so technically or um personally like you can have like different fonts and stuff and it's really cool so <clears throat> once you download uh, blockstrap it should look something like this i believe uh, you might have to put it go into it like a installation setup, but that shouldn't take long take like a minute not even um, So once you get in it should look something like this um, So we're gonna start off with integrations. I'm gonna give you guys my settings to uh, how I improve my game um, Some stuff I'll try to like tell you why I have it on and some stuff I can't because like I'm not that smart But you know, um, so we're gonna start off with activity tracking So I have this turned off because all it does is tracks your activity on Roblox um it's it's pretty pointless it's just wearing it down a little bit wearing your fps down a little bit you don't need it you can have it but you don't need it um i also have this off because i mean it's just like different like more roblox is open you know what i mean you can have more than one roblox open at, the t at a time and then that's it uh mods i have this on again this is all like your preference if you want it on you can turn it on whatever this doesn't matter none of this matters so uh i have this on everything else is off i just have everything else as default so this is where if you want it you can you can get it um choose a font i don't really change my font because it doesn't really matter um but i mean it changes your entire game like i have a friend that has all of his fonts in like minecraft it looks pretty cool but i personally don't like it so you know I'm not gonna get it but if you wanted to you could um i turn disable full screen optimizations off because you don't want your game to disable them because if you have it on it disables your full screen optimizations if you have it off then it doesn't disable it so it makes your full screen optimizations much better so like whenever i full screen i shoot up to 130 fps sometimes whenever i'm like that i mean i still go to 130 but like it's just it's overall better Cause like it, it's smoother you know what i mean to me it's smoother um so yeah that's that um fast flags so this is where it gets tricky so once you load into fast flags you want to go to fast flag editor this is the hardest part literally this is the hardest part but it's so easy so now you're not going to see these two you're just going to see nothing here right so how to get these press add new and then for the name type in this exactly so f flag debug display fps you have to do the capitals and everything value true boom that's literally it and then press okay and the same with the gray sky so what they do uh the debug display fps it literally just displays your fps at all times because usually you would have to press like a certain button i think it's like 
like Windows Shift 5 or something or I don't know something like that um so that's that um so that's what I have on and gray sky makes your FPS shoot up because of it's not as laggy with all like the stars and stuff um yeah so that's that's that part uh go back to fast flags I have my frame li frame rate limit up to 9999 doesn't really matter what you have it at but I prefer over like 900 you could just have it at like 9999 or whatever you want whatever it's like it's a personal personal preference I recommend anything over like 500 um, preferred lighting technology. I prefer voxel phase one. You could have it on whatever, but I feel like voxel phase one is the best. Um, this doesn't matter. This doesn't matter. This doesn't matter. These two matter. So the render quality just means like it's, uh, I believe your qualities have less texture to them. You know what I mean? Like, uh, it's hard to explain, but I have it on because it reduces your rendering quality. Yeah. You can read it right there. Um, I have it turned on. It just makes my game, again, smoother. Um, yeah. So next, I have use, use alternate graphics quality selector. So what this does is in Roblox settings, you know how there's only 10. This gives you 21. So you could change it to max if you wanted to, but I keep it around 3 to 4 for my macro or just any game in general because my computer is not the best, like I said. Um, so that's what I have mine at. You can have it on whatever, or you don't even have to turn this option on. This is just personal preference uh appearance doesn't matter behavior doesn't matter and then installation doesn't matter none of that matters and then once you're done it should say install i believe or save if you used it before just click it and then it, you're done so how to make this work so every time you load up on your computer block shop should open but the only way block shop will open is if you open it from your desktop like the actual block strap launcher or if you go to the website and type in Roblox and open it from there, the only time it does not work is if you go to the bottom search bar and type in like Roblox player. This won't work. Roblox player tapping it there, that will not work with Blockstrap. So you have to open up the application via your desktop or on the web. That's literally it. That's all you have to do. It's that simple and it opens up every time. It's pretty simple. If you guys need help, um, drop a comment. I'll try to help as many people as I can. If this video even goes anywhere but um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed and if you need help again comment and i uh, will try to help as many people as possible thank you guys like and subscribe if you like more content if you want more content like this there we go